Hey guys, it's Colby here from 4 by 4 Together and welcome to episode 8. Yesterday was an absolute crack of day. We went up and we seen the power lines track. We showed you that beautiful view. Come down to George's Junction and spent probably another two hours there fishing and hanging out and just relaxing and showing you guys the view as well. At about 3 o'clock is when we met Neil. And uh, Neil owns all this land and he farms all this land with all the cattle. And we asked him what was the hardest track <laughs> that is on this property and I tell you buddy what he showed it to us now we tried to attempt this track at about 3.30 in the afternoon we were there until about 8.30 at night luckily enough Neil and Sarah Neil is the owner of all this farm all this property and, and that's why he showed us the hardest track because he knows the hardest track on this property guys at about 8.30 we sent Alex and Kate off to go and find if um, they can get any reception to contact Neil Luckily enough, they did get on to Neil and those guys come up and saved us. They sort of picked us up from the truck. All we had to do was grab all our camping gear and our food and all that sort of stuff. Walk down that bloody massive hill. And um, then they took us back here to this hut. Now this hut is so lucky that it's not booked out. We were talking to Neil and he said that pretty much every single weekend this thing's booked out, especially in the summer. So sort of been a little bit of fate that um, that we've been able to get here, you know. But things have worked out too perfectly, really. <laughs> so today, guys, we're gonna head through and um, go out with Neil and see if we can take that steering arm off, maybe weld it back together, see if we can get David's car back up, like just at the top of the hill. If not, we're gonna have to get the dozer out and tow it up, so it should be an interesting day of events. <laughs> All right, four by four together. Filmers update. We are scaling this entire hill, this whole thing, literally from the bottom to the top. Getting up to the top, we got to film what's uh. What's going on up there? Sussing out the car. But I tell you what, oh, probably the biggest hill I've ever climbed, I reckon. This is insane. We're almost there, but we can see them. So, get to the top and see what the rundown is. All right. Here's Carly. Go, Carly. Righto guys, so what we've got to do now, we can see the setup. We couldn't really see it last night in the dark, you, probably, you can see it a little bit, but this sort of puts it in a lot bigger perspective for you of how much we're in this shit. Um, what we're doing now is we're going to make shift a, a steering arm and just get tire, like David's tires straight. As long as they're straight, we're going to do a double line winch pull. So we've got the tree pig on setting up at the top, he's going to anchor himself at the back on the tree there. Gonna bring his winch rope down, winch onto the uh, snatch block that I've got where the D-shackle is, so I can pull like a double line pull properly to the back of my car. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll pull up with mine. We'll, so the trooper will be here when we're coming up the hill. Pull up with mine when there's a bit of slack. Uh, Alex will pull his trooper line back, and then I'll come up again, pull it back, come up again, and assess the situation each time. Just make sure those make sure those tires keep straight is the biggest ordeal because otherwise we're just pulling up absolute dead weight. So yes, let's see how we go. It's a bit of interesting stuff. Guys, still on the side of this hill here, and um, as you know, the bloody steering arm has uh, snapped, as we said earlier on. 
So uh, what we've done is we've removed the steering arm. Um, I've gone into the bush, cut a bit of timber, perfect width, length in between the where it connects to the wheel, and then back just wedge it in between the chassis and the wheel. I'm going to get a ratchet strap, tighten it up. So this will just this wheel here will just stay straight. Um, obviously, we won't have any steering. It's just to get us off this hill up the top here, and then we're going to try and go into Kempsey. Now uh, get some more parts. If not, we might have to load up a star picket or something. <laughs> you reckon, Dave? I reckon that should hold. It's all yeah, pretty mate. tight. Yeah, bloody oath. Well, that the that wood in there should stop the wheel coming in this way. Yeah. And the strap will stop it going that way, so. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully that should get you up there. It'll get us up the top of the hill anyway, mate. Yeah. We'll I think we'll get up the top of the hill and we'll be able to get some parts or whatnot. Well, we can do some welding and whatever, can't we? Yeah, you've got a welder. Yep, yep. yep. Once we get out of here a bit. Um, well, we've put the strap through the. Oh, well, to start off with, the steering was broken, the wheels were heading out like that. Um, so we had to get them up straight so we can still use this one, which it's connected to the power. Um, that one there was just flopping around doing its own thing. So we put the strap in to hold it back together. We put the wood there to stop it closing in that way. So it's just keeping it travelling straight. Yeah, so we can get it up the hill. Yeah, so the. The strap should stop it going apart. So the trouble was you were pulling apart like that and it was dragging like that up the hill and we couldn't do it, it wouldn't work. So now hopefully it should go. And we've connected another Jeep up the top here. So we've got two four wheel drives winching this one. So it should work good. Don't you reckon Dave? Yeah mate. Yep. That's a local hope. Yeah. That's why it can go steady. That's how good it is out here at George's Junction. The owner of the property actually come out last night, picked us up from the side of this hill. At about bloody what nine o'clock or something Not last night, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, he I let us stay in his there. cabin, let us stay in his cabin for free. Um, helped us out quite a lot. Now he's back here first thing in the morning, um, helping us get to the top of the hill. And then he's um, gonna even weld up a steering arm for me. His top bloke, his name's Neil. If anyone was wondering, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dave. No worries, mate. <laughs> it's always good to have that help. Oh, mate, yep, at least I can do. Yep. Righto, so we should get in and have a go, or should we? Yeah, let's give her a go. Let's Righto, go. we'll give her a go and see what happens. The top mate, it's only been what? One night in the morning. Well, it's, well I think it's like it's nearly 12 o'clock. Been on this hill for bloody nearly a six hour stint now. <laughs> but we're getting there, inch by inch. Here we go again. Ridiculous, eh? Hey. Only took eight hours to get up that hill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we calculated it. it was about a five-hour recovery, eh? Five-hour recovery. Yeah, five. Yeah, and that worked a bloody treat. Yeah, I can't believe didn't that even move. Going, hey? Didn't even move. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. That's the most bush mechanics I've ever seen, eh? Hey? It's awesome, though. Have a go at it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. 
Alright, now we're gonna, so we're gonna weld up, still gonna take it downhill. Yeah, we're still gonna pull it apart, mate. Um, um, take it downhill and then weld that bit up there, eh? I don't know, we're gonna turn the corner, I've been trying to turn. You can't turn? Nah. Well, uh, I might have to do a couple, bit of forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. Well, I moved the Jeep out of the way, we'll just pull them straps up and clean up a bit. Yep. Just put all the shit in the back of your Jeep for now, what do you reckon? Yeah, mate, chuck it all in. Try and get that shit sorted. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. Mate, they don't even need to fix it, mate. That's just, that's good enough drive back camps, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I reckon. That's what do you reckon? Oh, that's not mine. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Exactly. Spreading apart that way. Yeah. Just stop it going in that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be the go, because it, it'll do the same thing the log was doing. Yeah. That's but it's not going to slip. Too, Oh my, you can leave it all on and then when it's in there, tighten the nut back that way and it'll hold that bar in there, right? Yeah. Hang on. It's going to buckle, isn't it? Just going to buckle, isn't it? It will have to, right? That's good. Little buddy, well, it happened there. <laughs> well, who wants to buy a bit of this gear off yeah. <laughs> Can you do the other one? I reckon it's going to grab right out. Open that up. I've got a cable on it. Yep. I do. Oh no, I've got um. Let's do it. What's this, number? Attempt number four, five. Yep. If it doesn't work, we're gonna go get the generator and the welder. And I will make sure it works. That wheel there, mate. Can you turn it again? I can't turn right very sharp, but I can turn left probably twice as much as normal. And uh, that should get me home. <laughs> well, to the mechanics, not home. They're oh, bloody, aren't they? <sighs> Wheel's stuck here for. Uh... Pretty much all last night and all day today. <laughs> and um, old mates come through, help weld up what your steering arm. Yeah, finished welding up the steering arm. Fabricated by trade. Yeah. Come down oh, fitter and turner. Yeah, fitter and turner. Right, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. So um, anyway, it's got a big five lifted, 4.2 litre G patrol, so custom chopped as well. He it's just gonna, wanted to show off. Yeah, he's going to show us up. That's what it up. is. He just wants to show off. It's absolutely going to yeah. show us up, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> well, I had to winch twice. You f***ed everything. 
Oh, I made it up though. <laughs> I was making it up until the steering arm snapped. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. I will get a little bit of something come back. Look at that man. <laughs> this is a happy What led to everything else breaking was um, I found out later on, obviously, I blew a power steering hose, so I lost my power steering, which, oh, um, yeah, that? that's, exactly, oh, that's actually what happened, yeah. No way. So I blew the main power steering hose, the one that runs into the alloy piece, yeah. and um, I lost all power steering um, when, the, obviously, I had the locker just installed, so I wasn't used to that, so it was um, turning the wheel quite rapidly following the ruts. Yeah. And um, I ended up fishing it a bit up the hill, <laughs> as you'll see on the camera. And um, I yeah, pretty much went sideways into a rut, snapped my steering rack in half, stacked my rack end in half, and bent my sway bars. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. So, far out, eh? Yeah, yeah it was pretty full cool on. <laughs> Basically, when you put a locker in the front of the Colorados, I didn't know this <laughs> till now, <laughs> but um, the steering rack, one end of the steering rack's got a fixed bolt into the chassis, and the other end's just got like a U-clamp. Yeah. Because of the extra like pressure, obviously, from the, the front locker, the steering rack sort of, um, it has more movement, because that clamp doesn't hold it on one end. Yeah. Causes it to twist, causes it to snap, because it's twisting it. Not meant to twist. Yeah. And um, yeah, well, that's what basically caused it to snap. This episode would not have been as good as it is. It's that we are like, it would not have been as good as it has been or was. That trip wouldn't have been nowhere near as good as it was. And we probably wouldn't have got out of where we were if it wasn't for Neil and Sarah. Um, you guys. Thank you so much. You guys absolutely saved us. Like stupid amounts. Stupid. Can I, I can't even put it into words. I'm struggling to find the right words. To... We'd, we'd still be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm struggling to find the words to say thank you, really. But yeah, anyone that hasn't been out to George's Junction, go and check it out. Check out George's Huts. Um, stay there the night. That hut was amazing when you guys agreed. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. yeah. I'll be taking family back there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Should we rock off for it? Rock off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right on. I reckon Jeep Hill 
because the Jeep was the only one to make it up. David reckons Collie Hill. Stuck. On, we'll, we'll just do once. Death, like sudden death. Sudden death. Sudden Let's death. Go. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Collie <laughs> Hill. <laughs> Massive shout out to the guys at ARB in Paul Macquarie for helping us out as well. You guys are the best. We'll be, yeah, double back off road. Um, <laughs> double back. Just Airbag kidding. man as well. Um, you guys have sorted us out with heaps of stuff. Heaps and heaps and heaps of stuff. So we really, really, really appreciate everyone. You know, Lockie, Ryan, like, I could name so many names right now. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and man, <laughs> <You're> videographer. <laughs> He's the only bloke getting paid here. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, guys. I just want to say um, a huge thank you. Uh, yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody, like every single person that has been a part of Four by Four together from start to finish. It has been one massive journey. Like something that I've been dreaming of for the past two years, really, and to have it all come together like it has is absolutely insane. Um, huge shout out to Scotty from A1 for the first bike to be believing in 4x4 together. Uh, massive shout out to our Doria as well for being behind us on the social side of things. You guys are awesome. Really, uh, really enjoy good. it. So, good. cheers, guys. Yeah, cheers. Cheers to a massive effort. And we'll see everyone in season two.